And this kind of conception in the case of St. John the Baptist and in the other cases that I mentioned places a special crown of divine predilection and divine mission upon the child. St. John the Baptist was also sanctified in the womb of St. Elizabeth at the salutation of the Blessed Virgin Mary. The Blessed Virgin Mary, filled with joy over what the Archangel Gabriel had said to her, in a way could not contain herself and wanted to share this joy. And so she went a long distance from Galilee down to Nazareth down to, to Jerusalem, rather, in order to share this joy with the one person who knew about it, and that was her cousin Elizabeth. Not even St. Joseph knew about it, as we know, for he was going to put her away thinking that she had been unfaithful. And the angel appeared to him in the dream and told him that what was in her womb was of God. So St. Elizabeth, Saint, our Blessed Lady goes to St. Elizabeth, and as she arrives and calls out Elizabeth's name, the child leaps for joy in the womb of St. Elizabeth. That's St. John the Baptist. And why does the child leap? Because... Our Lady has in her womb the God-man, the second person of the Blessed Trinity, sanctity itself. And St. John the Baptist is sanctified in the womb of St. Elizabeth. He is cleansed of original sin simply by the sanctifying presence of our Lord Jesus Christ in the womb of the Blessed Virgin Mary. And St. Elizabeth comes and says, how is it that the mother of my Lord should come to me? Knowing by divine inspiration that Our Lady is the mother of God, why would she say that? The mother of my Lord, who is my Lord but my God? And why do Protestants therefore deny the Catholic doctrine that the Blessed Virgin Mary is the mother of God when it is plainly stated by St. Elizabeth and in the Gospel of St. Luke. Why do they deny? They who profess such attachment to the scriptures. <clears throat> 